Did you know that explosions happen due to a chemical reaction? Hi everyone, this is Mr. Lara, and in this video we will discuss chemical formulas and chemical equations. So how do balanced equations demonstrate the law of conservation of mass? The law of conservation of mass states that matter can neither be destroyed nor created, but it can only change from one form to another. An example of the law of conservation of mass is when firewood is burnt. When this happens, a portion of matter is converted into heat energy, soot, gases, and the rest into ashes. The sum of soot, gases, and ashes is equal to the original mass of the firewood prior to being burnt. Chemical equations show the changes that happen in chemical reactions, and they always follow the law of conservation of mass. This means that the total mass of the reactants is always equal to the total mass of the products. For example, when hydrogen reacts with oxygen and produces water. In this balanced equation, the reactant side has four hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms, while the product side has two molecules of water, meaning there are a total of four hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms. Since the total mass of the reactants is equal to the total mass of the products in this chemical equation, it is balanced and demonstrates the law of conservation of mass. So what does a chemical formula tell us? In a chemical reaction, atoms combine and rearrange themselves to form new substances. To describe this process, chemists use chemical equations. Let's look again at the previous example. The left side shows the reactants while the right side shows the products. Chemists use chemical formulae to identify substances, what elements are made of, and the number of atoms of each element in the substance. So the chemical formula of H2O tells us the substance is water and each molecule is made up of exactly two hydrogen and one oxygen atom. So what does a subscript indicate? In chemical formulae, the element symbols are followed by a number. This number is written below the symbol and is called a subscript. For example, in H2O, we see a subscript of two. If an element does not have a subscript, then this means that the subscript is one or there's only one atom of the element in the substance. If we look at H2O again, we can see there are two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Let's take a look at a few more examples. In methane, we can see that there's one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms. A subscript can also tell us the number of molecules in a compound. Let's look at the compound of ammonium phosphate. We can see that it's made up of two molecules, ammonium NH4, and phosphate PO4. Ammonium is enclosed in brackets with a subscript 3. This tells us that there are three molecules of ammonium in the compound. Phosphate is not enclosed in parentheses, so it means that the compound only has one molecule of phosphate. If we now look at each of the molecules, we can see that ammonium is made up of one nitrogen atom and four hydrogen atoms, while phosphate is made up of one phosphorus atom and four oxygen atoms. So what are coefficients in chemical equations? To make sure a chemical equation is balanced, we place coefficients beside the chemical formula of the substances. For example, in the reaction of methane and oxygen. In the reactant side, we see that there's one carbon atom, four hydrogen atoms, and two oxygen atoms. On the product side, there is one carbon atom, three oxygen atoms, and two hydrogen atoms. According to law of conservation of mass, the number of atoms of each element on the reactant side needs to be the same as in the product side. So the product side is short of two hydrogen atoms. To fill this gap, we would need two molecules of water. To show this, we use coefficients. Now we have four hydrogen atoms on the reactant side and four on the product side. But the reactant side now has two oxygen atoms, while the product side has four. To fill this gap, we need four molecules of oxygen on the reactant side. We use the coefficient 2 to show this is in the chemical equation. The equation is now balanced and follows the law of conservation of mass. Let's review what we just learned. Chemical equations describe a chemical reaction. A balanced chemical equation describes how the chemical reaction satisfies the law of conservation of mass. A chemical formula is the identity of an element in a chemical reaction. Subscripts are used to show how many atoms of an element and how many molecules of a compound are participating in the chemical reaction. Subscripts for the number one are not used. The elements that react are called reactants. The new substance formed in a chemical reaction is called the product. 
The left side of a chemical equation shows the reactants while the right side shows the products. Coefficients are used to balance chemical equations. A coefficient tells us how many molecules of the substance is involved in the chemical reaction.